know the old saying, no shoes, no service. How about this? A diner in North Carolina has this sign, no speak English, no service. And the owner says that since putting up this sign, his business has tripled. You heard me right. But it's not, of course, without some controversy. Greg Simons joins me now. He is the owner of the Reedy Creek Diner in Greensboro, South Carolina. Hi, Greg. Good to have you here today. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. So tell me, what happened? What prompted you to put this sign up in the first place? Uh, back in uh, February of uh, this year, I had uh, several Latino customers come in uh, that weren't able to speak English or read English. And what ended up happening was that, you know, it was very frustrating for me, frustrating for them. Uh, I don't know enough Spanish to, to have a conversation like you and I are having right now. Uh, but I do know enough curse words to know what I'm being fussed at. Mm. And, and were uh, you? Were you? Did, did... Yeah, I was, I was being quite, <laughs> I, was, I was being put down quite a bit there. And so I basically put up the sign in English, no English, no service. Uh, I ended up realizing that that was kind of a faux pas and changed it. And the sign hung up for a better part of about a month and a half, no problems, uh, until a woman by the name of Keisha Temple came in, uh, said that she's of German ancestry and shouldn't be served. And I said it had nothing to do with ethnicity so much as it was a communication problem. Uh, and since then, the story has just kind of gone viral. I've gotten calls from every single state in the union. I've gotten eight calls from outside of the country, from Kuala Lumpur, Costa Rica, Afghanistan, Kuwait, and they've all been positive. Uh, I've had nobody out there uh, picketing me. I've had you haven't had no anyone sort of business. protested and walk in and intentionally try to sit down and order, and you know, not speaking English. Has anyone tried that? Uh, no, we've had people come in there. Uh, we had, matter of fact, we had a party of 18 come in there last week. Uh, and uh, it was on a Saturday afternoon. They came in there. They got their food. Uh, they got. They were served. Uh, half the people that were there didn't speak uh, any English, but the people who were bilingual that were in the group ordered for them. Yeah. So there was no problems, no worries. And, and you say that your has your business actually tripled since all of this started? Yeah. When the, when the uh, the initial story broke in March. Uh, it tripled, uh, and I've spoken with a lot of people I would never think to be speaking with, such as yourself, uh, Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, uh, and uh, I've gotten a lot of letters of support. Uh, I was contacted by an organization known uh, as Pro English. Uh, basically, if I had any civil or criminal charges brought against me, they would represent me pro bono. Interesting. Greg, it's a very interesting story. And you say people have even asked you if you sell the signs, right? Because they, they want to hang up a sign like that in their establishment or maybe even at home. Uh, yeah, Who knows? actually, and, and that's the thing of it is uh, they initially uh, it was speculated that I had taken the sign down when, in fact, I hadn't. I had people ask me for a copy of it. And I said, well, just go ahead and take this one off the door and I'll make another one. Well, after the eighth and ninth time, I said, well, just go make 100 copies. <laughs> and that was gone within the end of the day. In total, I've made 1,700 copies, and I've got, I think, one left. Wow. All right. It's a, it's a very interesting story and interesting <laughs> that your business has taken off since this happened uh, and that folks have found a way to, you know, come in and eat regardless of, you know, all they need is one person who can order uh, for the group and, uh, right. and they're served. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, really good to have you here. Thanks a lot. Take care. Good oh, luck no with problem. it, Greg. Thank you, Martha. All right. How about that? Uh, so. Moving on, uh, even the leader of the free world, it turns out, is no match for this angry volcano. How President Obama just felt Mother Nature's wrath across the pond. We'll tell you what happened there. Plus, a man hears something knocking on his front door, so he goes to answer it, and he finds an alligator who can knock, apparently. And wait until you hear what happened after that. There's an alligator in my front suit. Um, 